Greetings, folks, and welcome to Plaid Stallion's Toy Ventures. This week, it's one of my favorite subjects, and that is a big mystery box of knockoffs. For those familiar with the channel, I have been slowly buying a collection of knockoffs from a longtime collector. Then about every eight weeks or so, I buy a lot of them. Uh, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to get. Other times, I didn't know I wanted something until I saw it. I have gotten some incredible oddities from this fellow in the past, and I'm showcasing some of them here. And honestly, this week is no exception. So without further ado, let's unbox, shall we? First off, this is not a knockoff. This is a closeout. I don't know what it is about the UK and finding Mego figures in what are US catalog mailer boxes, but I have found many, many over the years. Uh, I found Aquamans, I found Falcons, and now I have a Penguin. Someone has cut a little window in this box, thus devaluating the mailer box somewhat. But it's kind of a moot thing because I do not actually believe that this is the Penguin's mailer box. You do find a lot of end run mint, like beautiful, unused Migos, but they're often in boxes where the catalog numbers do not correlate. And trust me, people, check these things. Now, I did a little bit of preliminary research, and I was unable to connect the Penguin to this number. Most of the Sears numbers start in a 4.9. I have yet to find anything that stars in a 4.8. Uh, perhaps one of my more learned mailer box scholars can help me out here. I'm, And I can post the results later. I know it's very common to find superheroes in, like, Wizard of Oz boxes and that sort of thing. It, it must have just been one of those things that nobody really cared about at the end of the day, and they just shoved things anywhere they could. And that is kind of the fun of most knockoffs anyways. I actually don't collect these. I just bought it to get to the knockoffs, so I probably will be selling this in the near future. So this is the meat of it, the one that I was very interested in, and that is the superheroes figure. This is a long line of blow molded, meaning, you know, very hollow plastic figures and some leftover costumes from either Mego or Ideal. This case, it is actually uh, the Mego 12 inch Lex Luthor outfit. It does not look terribly well put together, so it may have been a factory second, but they've shoved it on a very generic army man guy. They have not done any kind of face detailing and they have included a rifle, some skis, and a helmet. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure the superheroes are quaking in their boots. I absolutely love finding things like this, and the Lex Luthor outfit just makes it special to me. I don't think I've ever seen a knockoff wearing his outfit, although I am not terribly surprised to see it, seeing as I've seen everything from Moonraker, Star Trek, the uh, motion picture, Black Hole. So it's, it's not a surprise at all to see Lex. Uh, the ridiculous helmet, skis, gun, and poles make it just all the more better. I often wonder if the whole philosophy of these things was not just to sell the kid the outfit and the accessories on what is essentially a mannequin that will crumble after a few minutes of play, and then the kid will go on put this outfit on their action man or whatever hero or 12-inch figure they have kicking around. It's very clearly uh, just a way of getting rid of excise, and I love it. I've not seen this header card before, but that's no surprise. I never seem to see the same one twice. Uh, this is pretty fantastic, and I love it. No price tags on him, sadly. And finally, may I present to you the biggest get in the lot for me, Kung Fu Fighter. Um... I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on the channel, but martial arts had a huge impact on my life, you know, from being nine years old watching Bruce Lee and Sonny Chiba movies to later on, you know, being in dojos and getting different various belts and fighting people. Uh, it, it had a very positive impact on my life, and I'm still a monstrous martial arts fan. I love action figures in geese and kung fu adventure type stuff and that one of these days that's all i'm going to collect the various karate and judo themed toys from the 1970s i absolutely love this so this guy was going home with me it's an interesting figure it is actually the gilbert odd job action figure head and top this is a 60s toy that i'm assuming they had leftover parts from uh, Odd Job was kind of shorter than the other 12-inch figures. He kind of had an action feature. So this blow-molded doll, 
Uh, it, it looks like he's a little kid with his shorty shorts, but it's actually because the figure was about, I'd say, an inch and a half shorter than the rest of the Gilbert line. I can't tell if this is an original odd job head or if it's a copy, but it's definitely supposed to be uh, actor Harold Sakata. I love this. Uh, again, I think a kid would have bought this, took it home, broke it, and put the, you know, the gi on his action man or Joe or what have you. Uh, this one is really important to me. I absolutely love this kind of thing. <laughs> and and honestly, I liked it over the superhero. If you had to make me choose, I probably would have gone for this one. And that's my box of knockoffs. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, you know, this kind of sharing, this kind of discourse is really important to me in these times. Uh, this is the kind of discussions I want to be having in 2021. So I would love to know your feedback on this. Uh, you can leave me a comment below or hit me up in our Facebook group, Migo Knockoff Headquarters, where this is the kind of thing we're passionate about there. It's all vintage toy talk. I also wanted to remind you that the Toy Ventures magazine contest ends tomorrow. You can find a link to the Facebook page below. All you have to do is like and comment on this photo and you can win everything in it. That's it for this week, folks. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this, I hope you'll consider hitting like and subscribe. This is what we do every week. Until next time, have fun, take care, and talk toys, not others.